it's time for you to unwind Cause tonight we gonna have a ball, y'all From all over the world, we are bringing you the funniest new comics in Los Angeles Welcome to Love After Dark Ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet and make some noise for your host, Luke Ashley! Hey, 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 hey! Woo! Don't y'all look pretty tonight? Remember when you had a crush and you didn't want to eat in front of your crush? Do you remember that? I had a crush on this guy named Gable. So- <laughs> I can't even imagine being like, Gable, honey, where should we eat tonight? It sounds so corny. Ugh. Hope he's not watching. Um, I only know one Gable in my life. The point is, we went to Taco Bell, and it was homecoming for the university in our town, and I choked on our taco, <laughs> or as, as Taco Bell calls it, crunchy, for a reason, and it lodged in my throat. <laughs> For like 20 minutes and I'm just like smiling like ah, 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 ah. because the more I swallowed the more it hurt so jump ahead about 20 years I'm eating nachos and you know when you're making nachos you put your meat your cheese and your salsa so I went to go get the, I was eating I was like oh something's missing I need salsa so I got up I went to go get my salsa and I dropped the jar I got Shrek fingers I dropped the jar and I went, I was like, oh God, I don't have any more salsa. So I was like, oh, the glass is on the bottom. Okay, you're jumping <laughs> to conclusions. I haven't even said anything. <sighs> so I was like, I'll trust the salsa on top, right? I mean, who wouldn't want, who eats nachos without salsa? Thank you, none of you. The point is, I went to go get some, uh, <laughs> I went to go get some salsa. I thought I got uh, non-glass salsa. <laughs> so I'm, you know, I'm, 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 feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm about to tear this up. We're about to chill. We're about to turn on some Netflix or Amazon. Ding! And, um... <laughs> just kidding, guys. Um, and as I'm eating, you know, you think nachos, they're gonna be crunchy. Here we go. Crunchy, right? So I'm chewing. Mm-hmm. Got my remote. But I hear different crunch. It's just a little something on that, your teeth know. So I'm like, mm, 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 mm. So I spit it out. It, it, sh- it shimmered. <laughs> I was like, something ain't right. But I was like, I looked over at my nachos and I was like, well, I mean, it's just glass. <laughs> worst that could happen. So I licked my plate. I'm just letting y'all know. I'm fine. I'm here today. If you drop salsa or anything in a glass jar, pray over it. (laughs) Spit it out. Let it shimmer. And keep eating, okay? (laughs) Because I live to tell the story. Stay tuned. Coming up, we got Charlie Wilson and Soul Truly. Laugh After Dark will be right back. Welcome back to Laugh After Dark. Give it up for Charlie Wilson. Hey, hey, watch it now, watch it now. I ain't got but two moves. <laughs> just used all our head. I just used all our head right there. What's up, y'all? How y'all feeling? <laughs> shit, shit, y'all got me feeling special in this bitch, okay? You know, everybody, all the comedians was asking, hey, what the crowd look like? Hey, man, what does it look like? I don't give a shit. I'm just happy to be out the house now. This is a win for me. <laughs> I'm a married man, y'all. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but I'm married, baby. This is a W, okay? <laughs> Major. The whole Amazon shit is cool, but that's just icing on the cake. Really is. I would have been here either way. It could have been just me and Luke, just here, just us two. <laughs> she might have called me. Hey, Charlie, we might just have to cancel the show. It's... No tickets sold. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You trying to send me home? We need to have a show. Do the microphone still work? We gonna have a show. Shit. Y'all, I've been here since two o'clock. 
today. <laughs> Told my wife we had an early meeting, nigga. I was here. I said, I gotta go. I'm on the grind, okay? The grind. <laughs> no, that's why I fuck with LA, because everybody's on the grind out here, right? Yeah. On the grind, right? Yeah. On the grind. Broke as shit, ah, but on the grind, ah. Be proud of that grind, too, don't I? Struggling, man. But I'm fresh to, to LA, man. I've been here just coming up on two years, y'all. Just made two years, right? Feeling like a real winner, a real winner. <laughs> You know, I made the newcomer's mistake when I first moved here, y'all. I didn't know what was close, what was far. And I ended up where everybody moved when they first moved to L.A. Two words. The valley. The valley. <laughs> Somebody know what it is. You don't know exactly where is where, but you know you in the valley. The valley. <laughs> but see, what I didn't know is y'all had more than one valley. Yeah. <laughs> it's multiple valleys in this motherfucker. Y'all, y'all know that? Fucked around and ended up in the wrong valley, y'all. Y'all ever heard of Santa Clarita? It's the outskirts shit. That's where motherfuckers go from L.A. to get away from L.A. It's a vacation destination. Magic Mountain, there's hotels around the area. It's like, shit, like I knew I lived far because I was just doing dumb shit you're not supposed to do when it's time to go somewhere. I'm, you know, I'm new in town. I was getting booked for shows. Charlie, cause show in Hollywood, I'll put you on. I'm like, bet, let's go. They don't even know about me yet. I'm new out here. Let's go. Put me down. Get showered. You fresh. You ready to go. You fuck around. Put the address in your phone. Whoa, wait a minute. 49 minutes. Can't be right. Let me update my location. This is bad connection in here. Update. Oh. 53 minutes. God dang. That traffic settled in. I was mad as shit. I'm finna take a voyage, y'all. I'm in the kitchen doing bullshit. I'm looking for snacks. Let me see if they got some. Get some peanuts, some bottled water. Oh, let me go pee first before I leave. This <laughs> shit you're not supposed to do. I'm outside checking my tire pressure. Make sure, make sure I'm good. I'll be back, baby. I'm kissing my kids. Mwah. <laughs> got extra drawers and shit in the car. Just weird. <laughs> but I'm happy, man. Everything is going in a better direction, man. I fuck with comedy clubs. I love going to comedy. Make some noise if you support live comedy. Yes. Yes. And you know, honestly, even if I wasn't a comedian, I still fuck with comedy. Wanna know why? Because there's laughter here. It brings people together. And there's seats here. <laughs> Shit, I'm getting old. I like to sit down when I go out. Just me. Shit, you ever go out with some of your little younger friends? And y'all meet somewhere, you're a little skeptical, but you're like, oh, fuck it, you don't like getting out of the house already. You finally get to the place, order your $23 ass drink, you frustrated, real frustrated. <laughs> because you have to pull your phone out and check your account balance first before you can commit to anything. Anybody else had to make that money transfer? Don't look at me. It's just, oh, it's not just me. Don't be Hollywood. I'll follow you to your car, see what you're rolling in, okay? Don't play with me. You gotta check your app and see how much your balance is. You gotta make a transfer. That's some stressful shit. The bartenders, sir, just, just a minute. This is the Wi Fi. You got the Wi Fi code in here. It's in the, the Wi Fi. Right. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. But you finally get this drink. And now all your friends, they're like, oh, man, it's, yo, it's kind of light in here. It's like, what, bro? We just sat down. We got seats. Yeah, man, it's kind of whack, man. We think about going up the street. Let's go to whoop de whoop I'm like, bro, does whoop de whoop have seats? Because somebody yelped this shit before I, before I go check and see if my debit card went through. I need seats. But I moved down here with my wife, y'all. We just coming up on 10 years. Shout out to us, right? Yeah, baby. I walk around with my head held high in LA. You know what that, I'm married, you know? It's like a phenomenon here. Nobody can believe it. Look, girl, little kids be looking at oh, mama here. That's my little project kid walk. You racist if you laugh, don't do that, don't do that. It's like I got, I got project kids walk like that. Don't do that. But it's weird, you know, it's just, I, 
I've been with her for a long time, man. We're coming up on 10 years, man. And I'm realizing that I'm starting to lose, I'm starting to lose uh, the motivation, man, the focus. You know what I'm saying? Because when you knew it's fresh, you know, you're doing shit just smoothly. You got the candles lit. Pow. You got some music on. Back in the days we had CDs and tapes, but now you got Pandora or some shit. And everything goes smooth until a Lowe's commercial come on or some shit, right? You're like, shit! It's Christmas tree season already. Damn. Gotta go to Lowe's. Mm. You're doing shit you don't usually do. You don't light candles no more. You don't put music on no more. I caught myself just having sex to just, just house music one night. It was just, just house music. No, I don't even mean like, mm, mm, mm. I just mean just regular house noise, nigga. The CNN was on, the air condition was on, and then it went off for a little while. It came back on. The ceiling fan was clicking, clack, 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 clack. It's not sexy at all. But that's wifey, so you just fucking the house shit. Okay, cool. You're getting it either way. Fuck it. <laughs> Fellas, you all be hitting the shit from the back and you try to get serious. You be like, you know what? Let me commit to her. Let me turn off all of these distractions. You reach around, try to grab the remote behind you, but you can't ever find that shit when you hit it from the back. <laughs> Fellas, where does the remote go? You be like, just seen this motherfucker remote. <laughs> so you got to stop what you're doing. Get out of it. Mm -mm, up. And turn the TV off manually. <laughs> Don't they kill the mood? And your girl look at you like you just got out and stabbed somebody. She turn around. <sighs> <sighs> really? And dudes don't know no better. They just. <laughs> I did this for you. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> and you got to get back in because that's your baby. Where you going to go? Nowhere else. You just keep on going. But now I'm fucking distracted. I'm hearing shit I ain't supposed to hear because the TV off now, but the ceiling fan's still clacking. Clack. <sighs> I did not know our ceiling fan was that loud. <sighs> it's killing me. Excuse me. Just <sighs> stop being nasty. What's... She giggle every time I make that noise. Man, we're going to have to remove you, okay? <sighs> you got to get out. I turned the fan off. Clack, clack, clack. Your fan loud too? Okay. All right. <laughs> but I got back in that shit, bam, bam, only to realize I didn't do shit but turn the ceiling fan up a notch. God damn. Our fan go that fast? I'm cold, nigga. You ever be cold while you having sex? Ooh. And you respect your lady, you know she cold, so she throw the blanket behind her and shit. Hey, y'all fucking like two homeless people behind. It's not sexy. I got mad one night, take this shit off. I want to see ass. <sighs> Fuck out of here. It's not what this is about. I'm your warmth. <laughs> Hit a little harder. She was still cold. I said, Fuck, all right, take the blanket. Proceeded to get down. Mm, ceiling fans off. Had to get out, turn that shit off manually. Switch. Ah, now it's off. Got it. Got back inside, but bam, but bam, boop, <laughs> boop. We got a leak in this motherfucker. What's up? <sighs> focus, Charlie. Focus. Finally, her knees. <sighs> Baby, stop. Baby. Are your knees popping? <laughs> what the fuck is going on with your knees, baby? I got insurance. What? What are we doing? Oh, we got some knee popping ladies in the house tonight. Ah, oh, what other comedian recognizes the knee popping bitches of America? Nobody. Shit. Shout out to the knee poppers. So finally, turned that shit all the way off, stand quiet, proceed to finish up. My wife turns back around to me and says, get the fuck off of me. You just turned this pussy off manually. I said, God dang. Hey, y'all been fun. I'm Charlie Wilson TV. We got more laughs coming your way. Stay tuned. We back. Make some noise for Saul Chulu.
How we doing? It's good, guys. Right away, I'll let you know right off the bat. feel like I live a tough life. I really do. I feel like I live a tough life because every day of my life, I have to prove to strangers, people I just met, that I'm not the lady who killed Selena. All right. Select few of you. All right. Some of you, they, that affected you very badly somehow. You look confused. Pull your phone out. I think you were born in 96. I don't know. I don't know. Put that in your Google history. You'll see it. But then I got the mullet fucked everything up. Now I just... Now it just looks like I fix accordions and eat possum meat, so. I can get you a good deal on some alligator. I don't know about you, but I let you know that. <laughs> I'm happy, y'all, I'm happy. The comedy's all that I'm doing. I like, I like, I like to stay out. Day jobs, round of applause if you hate day jobs. Day jobs, some of the worst. Cause day job coworkers, some of the worst people on earth ever. Ever. I remember the last day of my day job, one of my coworkers, he was telling me all of his fears. I wasn't asking, but he was telling, you know? He was like, yes, yeah, so I'm really scared of spiders, terrified of spiders, but scorpions are pretty cool. The fuck did you just say to me right now? It's too early for this white people riddle bullshit. Let me, let me clock in first, you know? Let, let, me, let me do that. And it didn't, it, it didn't make any sense to me, man, because if you really think about it and break it down, all a scorpion really is a fucking spider with a knife. That's just, that's worse. You tell him you saw a scary looking guy in your neighborhood, you'd be like, oh my God, call the police. But if you saw that same guy with a switchblade, like, let him go. I like how magnificent he is. I like how he swaddles. Let him go. I mean, get on board, don't get on board. These jokes are sponsored by marijuana. That's all I do. That's what I was like, fucking. Some fans, I see. I... All I do is I smoke weed. Our entire lives are told that marijuana is a gateway to harder and more addictive drugs. You guys believe that? No, who's smoking weed? And it's like, oh my God, I'm so high. And I've watched, I've watched so much Amazon Prime and I've eaten so many instant mashed potatoes, but I wonder what it's like to collect cans at four in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, I wonder how difficult it is to ride a bike while holding a bike at the same time. I got a fridge on my back, you know. I wanna break into a, I wanna break into a Honda Odyssey because I see quarters, anybody? You know what I mean. You've been to downtown LA. I know you know what I mean. I took, I took an edible right before this, I don't, because I don't give a fuck about anything, nothing. You guys know what edibles are, right? You guys know what edibles are? I don't know, I do a lot of casinos. So it's like a lot of Indian casinos. It's like a, like a lot of silver foxes with the same perm, you know what I mean? I can't say shit like edibles, so they get very confused by the words coming out of my mouth. I say edibles and they pull butterscotch out of their pockets and I'm like, mm-mm, no. This is different by a lot, Beatrice, by a lot. <laughs> is if you get marijuana and butter and you cook them together and you put them in like a brownie, if you eat that brownie, later on that night, you might try to buy a seal online. <laughs> like, that's a water dog and I want it in my tub. That's what that's. <laughs> I'm not just gonna buy a seal, okay? I'm not just gonna buy a seal. I'll teach you tricks. Teach you how to play the little horns, like in the cartoons, you know? Teach you how to play Kiss from a Rose. Anybody? <laughs> seal playing seal? It's just for me. It's just for me, all right. Smoke too much weed, all right. <laughs> I'm Mexican too and, and I speak fluent Spanish and they say Spanish is a sexy language to which I disagree because I speak it with this voice and they, 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 every time I try to come off all Casanova with a girl and it would sound like a Mexican flea market merchant trying to sell discount fruit like oh yeah mami quiere papayita donde va de aquí donde va you guys imagine me trying to hit on a girl at the club I got the fanny pack with the too many ones I'm like, hey, bro, did you get her number? I'm like, nah, man, but I saw her some persimmons in a Safeway bag, so. <laughs> some kind of, all kinds of action. <clears throat> I'm working on me, man. I'm working on me. I'm working on, on Porsche control and failing horribly, to be honest. Based off, based off society's standards. With my standards, daddy controls all the portions, so it's a good job. Let me, let me, let me, let me give you an example. I went, to, I went to Pan Express the other day. You guys like Pan? I fucking love Pan Express, man. I love it. I love mediocre Chinese food cooked by Mexicans and served by high school students. It's some of the, some of the best shit. Usually get me a three item. Usually. Not today. Today, two item. Change. Baby steps, you know? <laughs> some of it did not impressed in the back, you know? <laughs> You got your arms crossed, you're digging out a Shawshank with a spoon. All right, you know what, here's the thing. Here's the thing, I, 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 I'll get, I got the two item, I got the two item, and I ate half, and I was full. I was like, oh shit, baby steps, change, look at you, huh? I was like full, but I didn't trust myself. 
can't just, I can't just eat half. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna put the rest of this in the refrigerator for later. That's adorable that I think that in that moment. <laughs> to be honest, I'm two burps from him. He breathed this shit in the bathroom with tears. The tops of chopsticks were about to get wet. That's not the part supposed to get wet, it's the bottom. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna throw this in the garbage. It seems wasteful, but I know in my heart that there's no way I'm gonna eat Chinese food out of the goddamn garbage. There's no way. My parents raised me right. Went to church on Sundays. Donated our time to soup kitchens. We're good people. There's no way I'm doing my bloodline like that by eating goddamn Chinese food out of the fucking garbage. <sighs> when I realized I underestimated high me by a lot. I'm in the front yard smoking a joint. Like, you know, styrofoam is the ultimate force field for food. There's no, there's no fucking way garbage juice is gonna seep in there and touch those noodles. You're, you're golden, you know? And like the fat fucking raccoon that I am, I start eating Chinese food out of the garbage. My hands, forks are two feet that way. I'm like, that's too far. I live in the moment, man. Let's, let's, uh, working on resolutions, you know? My roommates, they hear the commotion of me eating uh, Chinese food out of the garbage. They come in, they flick on the lights. I hiss at them. <laughs> It, it was defensive. Don't go, no, it's not attacking. I'm not attacking them. It's my Chinese, but I found this shit, you know? <laughs> I, uh, I got a girlfriend even though I eat out of the garbage, huh? Look how much swag I got. You went, what? Yeah. She knows what she got with. Uh, we met at a dumpster. She was recycling. I was eating pizza. It's like two different worlds, same path, you know? <laughs> Love my girlfriend, she's awesome, she's, she's the best. She's a, she's a cat lady. Um, any cat people in here? How, how many cats you got? A lot, okay, you are a legit, how many, you, you put two hands up. That, you put two hands up. Ten, you 20 of them. Oh, so you are, a, you are a cat, you are the cat lady. You aren't a cat lady, you are the cat lady. You are the cat lady, all right. Well then my girlfriend needs to step her game up because she's got four, I think that's a lot. That's not a lot, you're shaking your head. I feel like four is a fucking lot. How many, anybody else, any other cat people? One, one is a lot of cats. They give me flavor right there, fist bump, there you go. One is a lot of, I'm a fucking allergic to cats, all right? And she's got four, all right? That's a lot of cats, I can't even walk around my own house shirtless. Side note, I know gross, all right? You didn't have to laugh that quick, right away. <laughs> she's like, look at that, look at that slice of ginger over there, huh? I, I realize that tells me to take a Claritin disrespectfully. These, I was here before these motherfuckers, you know? It's too many cats. And, and, and here's the thing, she fosters more cats. So it's four cats, plus we bring more cats in. It's, it's, she's, we run a cat hotel. Uh, I hand out tiny little cat towels. I sell dime bags of catnips to calicos. You gotta make ends meet. You gotta make ends meet, you know? It's, it's, you wanna know the kind of cats that need to be fostered? It's, it's not kitties, all right? Definitely not kittens. It's like 13 and a half year old one-eyed mongoloids. They look like the fire muppets from Labyrinth, and she wants me to pet them. You should pet them. I'm like, I'm not petting that mountain lion. That thing smells like a dialysis clinic. You get it out of here. I'm not petting something that smells like sick people pee. I don't like it. I don't like it, all right? You guys still seem very much against this. You're like, it's not that bad. It is that bad. And I've asked this question at least 200 times, all right? And I've only ever gotten two yeses. I might get a yes from you, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to ask you right away. Anybody ever get their dick sucked while petting a cat? Oh, look how weird it got, yeah. Mmm, I live in weird, I don't give a fuck. It can get tense, mmm, I love it. I love it. Cause we didn't, it wasn't planned, all right? It's called, I thought I closed the door, all right? She gave me sex eyes, I got excited, I limp-wristed the door, I didn't hear the click. That was my problem, all right? So we're getting down to business, she's working on me. She doesn't have a wrench. I know you know what I mean, all right? She, she's down at the feed and fuel. I'm fucking singing Michael McDonald. I'm hitting notes. I didn't hit notes. We're having a good time. All of a sudden, I see the door kind of open a little bit with a cat paw attached. It's her cat, it's her cat pirate. Now, I like pirate. Pirate's fine when I got a laser pointer and a bong and it's in the context of playing with the fucking cat. Pirate is not cool in this situation whatsoever. And she hasn't seen the cat yet. And I'm not telling her about the cat. I'm not stopping her from doing what she's doing. I'm never stopping her. There could be a fucking earthquake. And I'll be like, oh shit, baby, that's us. That's passion. That's passion. We're making the earth move. We're both fat. You know how fat sex works. It's different. The humid is thicker, you know. Humidity. I forgot how to say a word. 
That's how different it is. But I'm waving the cat away because I want the cat to leave, but the cat thinks I'm calling it over. So it jumps on the bed and then jumps on my chest. What am I supposed to do in that situation, ma'am? Just push it off? I feel like that's rude. I've built up a relationship with this cat. I'm going to give it two pets and then send it on its way. I gave it two pets. And I gave it ten more pets. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I lost count of the amount of pets I was giving this cat. You're giving me a face. You don't understand. It felt good down there. And emotionally, it felt good up here, too. <laughs> that's two goods at once. You rarely get two goods at once. <laughs> I had to stop though, eventually. She was gonna pop her head up at some point. And do you have any idea how menacing it would be for her to eventually pop her head up? And I'm just like, <laughs> continue your ways, madam. Yo, my name is Saj Hill. You guys have been fucking fantastic. Sit tight. Laugh After Dark will be right back. Oh, yes. Oh, it's late. You guys tired? I wanna, I'm going to sing a song to you, okay? Get the fuck out of here Because the show is over For real, y'all. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm your host, Luke Ashley. Thank you. Thank you.